Alrighty, well, hello everybody, and um, and this time, and I'm just kind of demonstrating my own um, uh, my kind of new, my new build slash new tweak. But before I continue, um, the music that I'm gonna be playing in the background is uh is gonna be Tur, uh, Persepolis. I think I played this in one of my one of my casts from long ago. Uh, it just came up on my YouTube recommendations. Just I was looking for something to play in the background, and hmm, this seems cool. So. I just went with this. So let me go ahead and get this fired up. Okay, so um, I just wanted to I just wanted to do a demo of this new build. Or I should say this is kind of a tweak of an earlier build. Uh, this time this time around, I call it the NyQuil build, because um it was it was kind of a reference to stand up comedian uh, Dennis Leary. Like like he said so he like Refer to Nyquil as you. You want to be original, green death fucking flavor, or something like that. But I just thought it was kind of funny because uh, that's what that's kind of what this build is uh, centered on. That's the uh, the main the killing blow, for lack of a better phrase. But I'll I'll go ahead and show you how it works here real quick. Um, you got this, uh, and uh, I showed this in uh, in this morning's cast, but it's the new item I got. Uh, it, it inflicts uh, every status effect under the sun on an enemy and blows up uh, 29 gems of, of their mana color. I don't... I, I didn't really look deeply into this, but I think it uh, I think it only explodes if, if a monster has two or more different colors, then I think it only explodes one of them, one of those colors. So, and then um, King Gob Trouble... King Gob Truffle, you guys have probably seen this one before. He's uh he's the main he's the main killer. He's the main uh DPSer, the main the main the main damage dealer of this build. Um just mix of 14 green and brown. And then an old Gobby Shaman, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this one too. Uh creates seven green gems and gives life to a random ally and it's a guaranteed extra. Excuse me, guaranteed extra turn, just like this guy. And then, and then this one here, this was, I, I'll kind of explain later on. I'll, I'll kind of explain later on as I do this, but his main one is uh, Conjuring a Leaf Storm, which I'll get into here in just a second. Um, last night, I did a whole bunch of leveling on my Orb Weaver class. And um, I did manage him to get to level 20. And I'll explain what a leaf storm is once I get into the game. So, but uh, it is a the leaf storm is a very integral part of this build. It's pretty much a must-have. This is especially true in PvP. So now, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. but I have uh for a while I did have leprechaun in there. And um, I did a I did one single um one single trial run with this new build, so it seemed okay. Uh, big drawback is, is I'm gonna have to cherry pick gem matches until um until one of these guys gets filled up and hopefully I can get it going and get it started up. So, but, but let me um let me go ahead and try this out in PvP. Um, oh, and uh, I need to go, I need to go back, I need to go back. And then, and then for the, uh, for the banner, I'm going with Mushroom. Um, I need the green, it's a very green heavy build, so yeah, I'm gonna need that. Um, and then the bottom two, Goblin Shaman and Nanny Lion, can definitely use the brown. And I have no red in this build, so the minus is no big deal. So again, um,
So like I said, um, just gonna have to start looking for matches, preferably green ones. Okay, so he's up, created the seven green. Um, okay, now, uh, one thing I did start looking, now by default, when using this item, you'll typically want to use it on the top person. Which, um, so one thing I had, I've been having to do is I've been having to actually look at the traits these guys have, and some of these traits are pretty nasty, um, but, uh, Dragon's Blessing could be a pretty bad one. Not gonna worry about that one. And this is a weak, this is a weakness of this new build. That means, uh, my, uh, my Essence of Evil ability can't be, can't be used on her. So. Okay, so, so, nothing major here, so what I'll go ahead and do, I'll just shoot her with it. And it's gonna nail her with every single status effect under the sun. Alright, so that's my main damage dealer, and for another five match. And so, this one on the bottom, since nobody on the nobody on the right conjures any other kind of storm, I could go ahead and hang back on this one a little bit. Oh, and uh, that's a nice little bonus too. It's gonna disease, entangle, or poison all enemies. So, but since I got her, I'll just go ahead and go on down the line. And let me. Let me do this. So you guys can actually see what's going on. But again, he's gonna create some gems and he's gonna blow them all away. So I'll go ahead and do another one. But for a while, I'm gonna start doing these, uh, I'm gonna start doing the low tier easier stuff. And don't care about that. Okay, so this is basically gonna be a free one right here. This is a, uh, I'm fighting a treasure team. So. Yeah, because each one of these, their main ability is a gain gold. Same thing here. Same here. So, um, one thing I like to do whenever I see, whenever I see a battle like this, I always want to quote unquote tip them. Um, one way to do that. First, let me, uh, let me get this going here. Oh, and I forgot to make, um, these items here, these are called wildcard gems. You can use them with any color, and any match you, any match you have is gonna give double that mana, as it shows here on the X2. There's also times three and times four as well. Didn't hurt me because he's entangled. Alright, there we go. And I'm gonna cast it on that one. It's about to go. I'm gonna blow up a whole bunch of gems. And there we are. My least storm wore off, so and oops! Forgot about the five match. And 
Right in the Marines and the Browns. And nada. So, do that. Throw some more greens out there. That's why I call it the NyQuil build. The original green death fucking viper. Okay, so um, this guy apparently attacked me. Now, when it comes to when it comes to this item here. Uh, like I said in the last battle, normally by default, you want to just aim for the top guy. Queen Beatrix, however, she's going to be an exception. She's the first one I got to target. Because whenever they match four or more gems, she's going to dispel all debuffs on their team. So, she's the big priority. Then, um... Probably not that one. Less so of that one. Oh, Titan. So, but yeah, she is the big priority. Oh, and I'm drinking um, Arizona green tea, by the way. And then, um... Then I'm gonna go ahead and set the, um... I'm gonna go ahead and set the game speed back to my... Back to times four. Because one of the many status effects that's in this game is called stun. Uh, if you go look at the three red X's on the far right here, that means her traits, her traits have been locked out. So, any status effects I inflict will stay there. And gonna... This is ideally how it should go. Yep. Okay, um... So, looking at this one... Oh! He's got the same thing I got. That, that's rare right there. Create a Leaf Storm at the start of a battle. And Frost Feather most certainly is going to get the high priority. Why? Because if you kill this guy, he's going to freeze all... He's going to freeze my entire team. So yeah, he most certainly will, will be being targeted first. Yeah, so no big deal there. Lust is probably going to be the next one. Uh, charm a random enemy when an ally dies. With um, from from experience on this, she's basically going to kill one or two of my guys if I kill her, or when anybody dies. So this is going to be kind of tricky.
So, starting with him. Get that trade taken off of him. Oh, and um, I forgot to and I forgot to mention this earlier, but my um, my priority system is gonna be when he's up, he's he gets the first priority, and then when he can't cast a spell, then he's next. Okay, so. So neither one of them. So and there's no uh, green or brown four matches. So she's gonna get it next. That's fine. I had to make a judgment call. For those that don't, for those that don't know, um, that are kind of new, that are that have never seen this game before, let me kind of explain how the mana system works. Um, as you can, mean, look, we'll start with him. If you look in the upper left corner, the green 15, that means he requires 15 mana for his ability to go up, to be able to cast his ability, and it has to all be green mana. Then you got some, some of them. Like this guy here, he only acquires 10 mana, and it can be with either brown mana or purple mana. So, now, if by chance that uh, more than one, more than one of your guys has shares the same color, then it does the top-down philosophy. The guy on the top gets the green stuff first. Then, whatever is whatever is left of the green, this guy gets. So what I'm, but again, this guy gets the top priority, and when he can't cast a spell, he's next. He's one that puts the green gems on the board, and then after this, you start looking for any uh, green and brown four matches. There we go. He's up and running again. All right, so. Then you use then you use that ability on him. And this that's the default method. Okay, um and the sun the sun spear class is definitely um definitely a no-go. One, he freezes you he freezes somebody one of my guys immediately at the start. creates a firestorm but uh, he also has a trait that he creates a firestorm at the start of every turn so I mean my build isn't perfect and this is an example right here and he could also submerge a, he can submerge a random ally as well whenever he matches four or five gems so yeah that's a bad mojo right there so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and try this one I believe Sentinel He's pretty much a barrier machine. Yeah. So. But again, uh, Queen Beatrix, she's gonna get the first priority with the Essence of Evil. So. And Vernalis, I've never seen him before. start
But as long as Lee Storm is up, I actually have a decent chance of winning these. If it's not up, then I don't have much of a prayer. This is especially true as, uh... Oh, and for, so, for those that don't know, a storm causes a certain color gems to fall more than others. In this case, it's a leaf storm. So, if leaf storm stays up, I have a decent chance of winning these. But if any other come up, especially for a color that I never use, then it's going to be a problem. And this is one of the reasons, again, this is why I have dandelion in there. Frequently, the enemies I'm fighting will often conjure light storms. So, if for some reason I can't I can't conjure the leaf storm, at least I'll have at least this guy can take yellow mana and you know actually being able to take advantage of the light storm. And to switch it back. Um from what I've seen in my opponents, I didn't see a conjure a light storm at the start of my turn abilities or anything like that. Theirs, like mine, they only conjure theirs once at the beginning of battle. Not bad. I don't have to use my essence of evil once. Okay. Oh, and I have to go back. Um, I forgot to do this. Um. I forgot to... I wish you know what it was. Yeah, I... Yeah, too late. I totally forgot, but, uh... The treasure battle that I fought... Uh, the... Excuse me. The treasure battle that I fought... Um... What I wanted to do is at the end of each battle, you can, um... By default, you have the option to select this. That was fun. It was a fun, enjoyable battle. Um, but like I said, I I can't remember his name. But uh, you can do that. Again, you can do it at the end of the battle. I forgot to do that. but Because what those people are doing is they're basically giving you a free win. And giving themselves a little bit of gold in the process. So... But otherwise, um, that's just what I wanted to show. But uh, again, that build, it's kind of tentative. It's its still on a trial basis. Um, I haven't really faced any opponents that gave me major problems yet with that build. But I'm sure there will be. So, But otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.